Belarusians have been one of the most prominent contingents of foreign fighters in Ukraine. Belarusian volunteers, foes of President Alexander Lukashenko's regime, have been fighting alongside Ukrainian forces since 2014. When Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24, hundreds of Belarusians decided to join the fight and form what eventually became the Kostus Kalinovsky Regiment. Named after a Belarusian writer and revolutionary who initiated an uprising against the Russian Empire in 1863, the volunteer regiment consists of a few hundred fighters. Many in the regiment use nicknames for fear of retaliation against themselves and their families. Its leaders believe their role is to help Ukraine fight for its freedom. Belarusians who think that Ukraine is suffering, they come here and take up arms. They by action show that Ukraine needs help here and now. The guys who join our regiment believe that Ukraine should be free from Putin's aggression and that Belarus should be free from Putin's and Lukashenko's aggression. So I believe this is the base of the new Belarusian army. Denis Kit, who served in the Ukrainian Azov Battalion from 2015 to 2016, said that by standing with Ukrainians, they are not only helping Ukraine, but also fighting for freedom for their own country, which, although independent, is a close ally of Russia. Belarus is occupied. The culture is destroyed. The language is destroyed. With our unit, we are trying to rebuild the culture and the language. And the main thing we would like to show is that true Belarusians exist, a lot of them. They are here, they are helping, and there are many like us still in Belarus, but they are oppressed by the regime. All the members of the military unit understand their role. Russian Federation, Putin and his footman Lukashenko stole our country, our independence. The soldier, who goes by the nickname Mirek, speaks from experience. He served in the Belarusian Interior Ministry forces until the protest movement in 2020. After the bloody crackdown on the protest, he realized he could not serve Lukashenko's government anymore. Now he is with Kalinovsky's regiment, preparing to go to the front line. A Lithuanian military trainer nicknamed Ziggy is pushing the soldiers in the field, ensuring they are ready for real battle. He says he is here to avenge his family's suffering under the Russians. Uh, my grandparents was sent by, was occupied by Russians and was sent to the Gulag in, a, in a Siberia. And now I have a real, in real time, a chance with my hands to pay them back. So it's. It's my war, definitely, for my family, for my neighbors and everybody, because this war comes to our doors. If not now, maybe later. We have a chance now, just stop him here. As for now, many regiment fighters believe that a Ukrainian victory will eventually lead to a Belarus free of Russian influence. Oleksiy Danilov, Ukrainian Secretary of National Security and Defense Council, told VOA that the Ukrainian government recognize and support the input of foreign fighters. I'm grateful to the Georgians who are fighting on our territory, to the Moldovans and to the Belarusians. Conscious citizens of all countries currently occupied by the Russian Federation help us in the struggle. They are aware that they are choosing not only our freedom, but also their own. As soon as the war ends, he adds, all these countries will be completely free from Russian influence and finally become part of Europe, where they belong. Miroslava Gongadze, VOA News, Ukraine.